how the meteorite got to the museum. A meteorite is, simply speaking, a rock that survives a fiery fall from outer space and lands on Earth. This happens thousands of times a year. Meteorites fall all over the place, in the sea, in the deserts, on the plain and in the jungles and forests. They don't usually fall into people's yards, but this one did just that. And it happened not far from New York City in a town called Peekskill, New York. But how did the meteorite get to the museum? Hundreds of millions of miles from Earth, in the deep, dark, cold outer space, there are vast fields of space debris flying around. Chunks of ice, pieces of satellites, specks of dust, tiny grains of sand, huge rocks called asteroids, and smaller rocks called meteors. Most of this debris stays up in space, but this is the story of one rock that didn't. A meteor that falls to Earth is called a... Meteorite. Meteorite, good job. Here in outer space is a meteor, likely a broken off piece of an asteroid flying around and around and around. A year goes by, a million years go by, a billion years go by, four billion years go by. And then on October the 9th in 1992, and no one knows exactly why, the rock changes course and enters Earth's atmosphere over the state of Kentucky. Here is a dog sleeping on a porch who is awakened by a loud sound. She barks at the meteorite <laughs> as it zooms towards the Earth. Here are the Virginians enjoying a late night burger who suddenly see a fiery trail in the sky. We know it was the meteorite which was barked at by the dog as it hurled towards the earth. <laughs> Good sound effects. Here are sports fans at Pennsylvania's high school football game. The home team is trailing by seven. The running back has got the ball. Third down, four yards to go. Home movie cameras point to the action on the field until crack, hiss. More exciting than a flying football is the meteorite, which was spotted by the Virginians and yelped at by the dog as it zipped towards the earth. Ruff, ruff. Bang! The meteorite crashed into a car. Park. Here is the teenager who had been watching late night TV in her house in Pigskill, New York, when she heard the tremendous crash. She rushed outside and discovered a huge dent in the trunk of her car and a smoking rock nearby. Of course, it is really the meteorite which was filmed by the sports fans, pointed at by the Virginians and woofed at by the dog <laughs> as it sped towards the earth. Here are the police who rush to the scene. They poke and prod at the still warm rock and declare criminal mischief for what really was caused by the meteorite which was discovered by the teenager, recorded by the sports fans, spotted by the Virginians and howled at by the dog as it bolted towards <laughs> the earth. <laughs> Here are the firefighters. <laughs> Called to cool the rock, which has caused gas <laughs> to drip from the car's punctured fuel tank. They start, good sound effects, awesome job. They start to suspect that the rock may really be a meteorite, which was examined by the police, reported by the teenager, videotaped by the sports fan, pointed at by the Virginians, roofed at by the dog as it plunged towards the earth. Here is the geologist, a scientist who studies rock to learn about the history of earth. He has come to Peekskill, New York, from Columbia University to investigate the mysterious rock. He confirms that what smashed the car was indeed a meteorite, which was cooled by the firefighters, investigated by the police, found by the teenagers, hawked at by the sports fans, buzzed about by the Virginians, <laughs> and fretted by the dog as it raced towards the earth. It's pretty cool. Here is the curator of meteorites from the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. He is admiring the space rock and hoping to obtain at least a slice of it. 
The museum would love to add this to its collection. This meteorite was identified by the geologists, cooled by the firefighters, cordoned off by the police, called in by the teenager, taped by the sports fans, remarked on by the Virginians and a fretted at by the dog as it crashed towards the earth. Oh. Here is the cosmologist, a scientist who specialises in outer space, explaining everything you may want to know and more at the museum's symposium about meteorites, which was produced by the curator of meteorites, confirmed by the geologist, hosed by the firefighters, poked at by the police, called in by the teenager, chronicled by the sports fans, whooped at by the Virginians and yipped at <gasps> by the dog <laughs> as it fell towards the earth. Yeah. Here is the exhibits team at the Natural History Museum designing the lighting, signature and diorama for the newest acquisition, the soon-to-be-famous meteorite, which was explained by the cosmologist, acquired by the curator of meteorites, measured by the geologist, chilled down by the firefighters, protected by the police, phoned in by the teenager, captured on the video by the sports fans, called to by the Virginians and yapped at by the dog as it plummeted towards the earth. Wow, there's a lot that goes on to get that meteorite to the museum, don't you think? Here is the science teacher who guides her students through the Rose Hall of Meteorites. She loves the study of the mysteries of outer space and sharing that with her students. Now surrounded by a crowd of new young fans is the peak skill meteorite, which was barked at by the dog, witnessed by the Virginians, filmed by the sports fans, found by the teenager, poked at by the police, sprayed with water by the firefighters, validated by the geologist, obtained by the curator of meteorites, summed up by the cosmologist and presented by the exhibition team and explained by the science teacher who says that is how the meteorite got to the museum 